Assalamu alaikum. My brothers and sisters, marrying a divorced person is not bad at all. In fact, sometimes it is the best decision you could have made. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, mostly married those who were divorced or widowed. In fact, almost only married those who were previously married, besides Aisha radiallahu anha. If this was a bad thing, he would have never done it. In fact, there are many brilliant people who have had to go through divorce for some reason or another. It does not mean that because you went through a divorce, you're a bad person. In fact, sometimes the best of people, those whom you would never regret marrying, are actually previously married. They're divorced or widowed. We as Muslims are encouraged to look at people and to value them based on who they are, based on their own character, conduct, and their level of relationship with Allah. Whether they were married or not previously is irrelevant. In fact, the best of men are those who can take care of selflessly the children of others. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. That is a big one. This would mean if you have a widow who has a child or two or three or more, and there is a man who is prepared to take that widow as his wife and to consider those children as his own in terms of looking after them and to fulfilling whatever he can of their own needs and whatever they need in order to grow up in a beautiful way, he would definitely achieve a far greater reward than those who couldn't even be bothered. Those who are not prepared to engage in that type of a sacrifice. And at times, Allah blesses you with so much of favor as a result and grants you so much in return that you would never have imagined. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a deep understanding. There are many out there who have been previously married looking for spouses. Sometimes people don't even consider them. At a loss are those families who don't want their own children to marry those who were previously married simply because they went through divorce. It could have been you. It could have been your spouse. It could have been your child. It could have been anyone. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all goodness and help us to understand that people are actually good, but shaitan is bad. Yes, it's not bad to know why they went through a divorce. But whenever you hear the reason from the ex-wife or ex-husband, you may have a little bit of salt and pepper added as flavoring regarding the reason of divorce. But it's good to know to keep it in your mind. Sometimes if it is very bad, you may want to find out if the person has changed. Some people have had a past, but they've changed. But mostly those who go through divorce did not even have a past. They were probably brilliant people who simply didn't get along because of their differences, whether they were cultural differences, some other differences of likes and dislikes, etc. does not make them bad people, my brothers and sisters. Learn to consider those who were divorced when getting married. May Allah grant us goodness. In fact, before I end, let me say, learn to consider the widows before you get married. And those of us who have children or siblings who want to or who are considering someone who was previously married, support them, encourage them, be there for them. And inshallah, we will be heading in the right direction. May Allah grant us goodness. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.